Hi folks, I'm Las Vegas Larry the Cable Guy. Welcome to the Gene Woods Racing Experience. We're going to go over some rules here at the Racing Center and also I'm going to give you some driving tips to make sure that your experience is a fun and a safe one. Now let's get started. After you sign the waiver stating you're taking responsibility for injuries and damage caused by your reckless driving, after watching the entire video, you'll come over here and you'll get your driver's license. Then you'll find a helmet that fits you, you'll have wear a head sock, a neck brace, and gloves are optional. It's about time to go racing. Next, you head to the driver's entrance. You'll take your ticket and hand to one of our team members. They'll then show you to your cart. Oh, and remember, walk, don't run. We don't allow open-toed shoes, that means no flip-flops, no sandals. And for those boys and girls that have hair a little longer than your shoulder, it's got to be tucked and pinned in your helmet. I don't care how pretty you are. Oh, and by the way, you have to be 54 inches tall in order to ride this ride. And for those of you that are rednecks like myself, that's five foot six. Hey folks, listen up. I'm going to give you some of my secret racing tips that'll make you fast. If you find yourself out there and your cart is in a slide or drifting, Tap the brakes a couple of times, that'll get you back in the groove and get you in the race. Okay, if you found yourself spinning out, or you're pinned up against the guardrail, or your cart quits, stay put in your car. Do not panic. Just like when you're in school, raise your hand. Somebody's going to come assist you. Remember, the pit area is not the racetrack. You slowly leave the area and proceed to the track where one of our team members will wave the green flag and that's the time to get her done. Now while you're out there racing, if you see the yellow flag, that means somebody's having a problem somewhere and our team members will be assisting them. Slow down and proceed with caution. If you see the red flag, that means there's a major problem on the track. You need to come to a stop immediately and wait for the staff member to wave the green flag to restart the race. Okay, now the one flag you don't want to see is the black flag. If you get that, it's for aggressive driving or excessive bumping or reckless driving, period. And that could be your worst nightmare. That could bring your night to an end right then and there. If you see the black flag, you have to come to the pits immediately. Remember, there is no refund if you get kicked out of the track for the black flag. Now, if you need help getting in or out of your cart, let one of our team members know and they'll assist you. Okay, once you're in your cart, make sure you buckle up, pull it snug and tight. We're almost ready to race, but let that shield down before you take off. Now the pedals are just like in your car. The gas pedal is on the right, it's green, it says go. The brake pedal is on the left hand side and says stop. Remember, when you're racing, don't use both of them at the same time. Follow the arrows from the pit area. They'll lead you to the track where you'll see the green flag displayed by one of the team members. This will begin your racing experience. When you see the white flag, that indicates you have one lap left until you see the checkered flag. Once you see the checkered flag, your race is over. But the good news is you can buy another ticket and race again. Slowly proceed to the pit area where you will park your car. Do not get out of your car until a team member tells you to do so. When you exit the pit area, Drop off your head sock and your gloves in the can beside the lockers. Please return your helmet and neck brace. Remember, you can win a lot of cool prizes and there's a lot of fun games here at the Gene Woods Racing Experience. Hey, thanks for helping, Larry. And you can even get your picture taken in Victory Lane. You know what? It's time to go racing. Let's get her done! <laughs>